Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining the screencast showing how you can connect your Artifactory Cloud instance to Jira Cloud to submit build information from Artifactory to your relevant Jira issues. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And so what you'll see here is I'm actually in Jira Cloud here. Um, I have an instance of Jira Cloud. What I've done is I've gone to apps, find new apps. And what that will do is it will render the Jira marketplace, the Atlassian marketplace, I should say, um, of all the available apps that you can install into your Jira software. And so there's a new available app from JFrog. So if I search for JFrog, you'll see that there is this new JFrog platform app for Artifactory. You can go ahead and click on the app. And this app is available for free. So you can go ahead and install the app for free. There's additional information about what the app covers such as the ability to look both ways, the ability to link your builds to particular issues, your issues back to builds, as well as additional information that you can read up on. And so at this point, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on the Get App. It will go ahead and notify me of any additional terms, and at which point I can now click the Get It Now button. This will install the app into my Jira instance once it's been successfully installed, a pop-up will appear where I can click on the Get Started. At this point, I'm gonna be redirected to a page where it's gonna ask me for my Artifactory Cloud URL, as well as an admin user's API key. And so where can I get this information? So assuming you have a Artifactory Cloud JFrog SaaS platform, um, you can go ahead and grab the URL from your browser here. And so the first part of your URL, it should end in a jfrog.io domain, um, can be used as the Artifactory Cloud URL. And then to find the admin user API key, you'll need to be a user who has admin privileges, such as myself. And assuming you are an admin user, you can click on the top right here on your name, go down to edit profile, and then there will be an API key section here. If you've never generated an API key, you may have to regenerate a new API key. But in my case, I'm gonna use my existing API key here. And then at this point, you can go ahead and copy the API key and click Submit. This will register the application um, with your JFrog Cloud instance. Assuming everything is successful, you'll get a message as you've seen here, indicating that the initialization was successful and it's notifying you that you can now go back to Jira. I'll go ahead and go back to my Jira cloud. And as you see here, I have a Jira ticket that I have already created. Um, and as you can see here on this Jira ticket, um, there's currently no um, links back to a particular build in Artifactory. The next step is to actually upload a, a build to Artifactory. There's a variety of ways of doing that through CI tools, such as the Jenkins Artifactory plugin, um, the CLI, such as the JFrog CLI, or just manually uploading a build info JSON via curl, which I'm about to show you here. And so I have an example build info.json here. And this is a very simple build info where basically I'm uploading a generic build. The important thing to note is the issues and the affected issues here. Um, the URL and the key must match. This is, the, this is how this particular build in Artifactory will be associated to the issue in JIRA. And so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to Artifactory. Once this has been uploaded to Artifactory, I should be able to go back into my JFrog platform and go to builds. And I can see my new build that has been uploaded here. I can click on the build number. I can click on issues and see the associated JIRA cloud issue. Um, on this particular build. I can also look at the raw build info JSON if, I would, if I'd like. Um, the important thing here though is on the issues tab, it does provide you a link to your Jira Cloud um, issue. I can actually click on that issue now. And what you'll notice is that the issue has been updated to include this new section for development. If I go back to my previous tab that has not been refreshed, you'll see that it does not appear here on the right. However, if I go to the new tab, um, you can see here that it does include the development section with the build. I can actually click on the build and that will actually load this pop-up widget here, which includes a link back 
So it's a bi-directional link um, back to Artifactory. I can click on that link and it will take me back to the relevant build in Artifactory, which then has the link back to the relevant um, JIRA issue inside your JIRA cloud. And so this concludes the screencast on how you can use the Artifactory and JIRA cloud app together to transmit build information and issues across Artifactory Cloud and Jira Cloud. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.